It's the first day of spring. Oh, it was a wonderful day to be out in the garden, seeing everything starting to bloom. Of course, I was out pulling a few weeds. Like I said, 15, 20 minutes each day of pulling weeds. It does help. There's still a ton of weeds to pull, but I do see some improvement. Accidentally, I pulled out one of my carrots that was round, so I thought I would share it with you. Now, it doesn't look too big, and these carrots do stay pretty small, but they also are round, like you see. They can get a little bigger than this, but not too much bigger. So, if you ever want to try to grow some round carrots, now you know what they look like. And they're great for salads. You can take a little knife and just slice three or four little circles off those carrots. Very tasty, and the best part of all, so easy to pull out because they're small. So I have these growing in my green stalks and believe it or not, I had a few weeds in there. So I thought what I would do is share my little accident with you. Isn't my carrot cute? Hope it encourages you to think about growing some of these round carrots. Now let's see what else I have. First day of spring. I thought I would just share a few of the things blooming in my garden at the moment. More poppies in the backyard also. I was really happy to see my beautiful flowers blooming in this container. And the container was from last year and I stuck it over here. It is so pretty. I'm thinking of pulling it out and putting it somewhere where you can see it better. And one little sunflower seed must have got in the container, and there it is, blooming. I thought it was pretty exciting. What do you think? Leave me a comment. My radishes are going to seed, a lot of them, and they are an added color to the garden. And my petunias here are blooming beautifully too. And right here in the center is a daylily that has come up. Hasn't started blooming yet, but the plant is up. I'm so happy to see my plants coming back to life. These succulents have been looking beautiful for the last couple of months. I just love these. I'm going to take some cuttings off of these and make some new plants. Spring is here now, and I can't wait to see what's going to be blooming. I have several of these beautiful geranium plants over in this area. I've had them for a couple of years. I do need to get some weeds and some grass pulled out of this area, but except for that, they still look great. And another wonderful thing, they have been blooming now for at least a month, maybe two months. So I have been really, really happy with them. I think these are my favorite geraniums that I have in my garden. I may try to take some cuttings and make some new ones because I love how these look and the flowers last so well on them. I've had these plant, I don't know, probably like maybe five, six years. There's some grass in here, it needs to be pulled out. But in another month, or maybe even sooner, this whole little mound of plants will be full of flowers for us to enjoy. And I'll probably do a few fairy gardens over here. But I need to get some of the grass cleaned out. And sad to say, I had some of it damaged. I think a gopher came over here and damaged it. But we'll just do the best we can with what we have left. There's still quite a bit. The plant is moving over into my lawn and I really don't care. So I'll just mow it like I normally do and leave it alone. I'm not gonna pull it out, it's fine. Here is some more California poppies. They haven't started blooming yet, but I have a lot. Got a lot of weeds over in this area and grass. So we'll have to get busy and start working on this here another month probably. Last year, I moved these plants from a container and put them here in the front yard. 
So it was a zero cost because the plants I already owned and had. And I'm sure they have doubled or tripled in size since we took them out of the container. And I'm pretty happy how it looks. I want to get maybe one or two more plants over in this area next to the block wall and fill it in. But except for that, I'm super happy. Let me know what you think. I think we have a lot of things blooming. This is the first day of spring. I'm really, really enjoying it. This plant here needs to be sort of out in the sun if you want to see it turning red. And it's held up beautifully out in my front yard. There's a lot of sun out here. And believe it or not, this was a little cutting probably four or five years ago. So they do grow pretty fast and it will also get about six to eight feet tall when it's fully grown. So I needed to give it a lot of room to grow over here. This little bit of footage I'm going to share now was from Sunday when Mia, her mom and brother came over to do a day of gardening in the garden. Mia loves to garden with grandma, but she also got to do a little gardening at nursery school. This was a bean plant that she planted at school and her mom said she had the biggest bean plant out of everyone there. And that bean plant, as you can see, it's getting pretty big and when she gave it to me it was in that little cup believe it or not it has grown that much in just a few weeks i tried to share the video with me putting it in this larger container and for whatever reason it was corrupted and i could never get it to go up and every time i tried to put the video up the whole tablet would shut down i have no idea what happened i finally had to give up and just delete all the footage and start fresh. It was so disappointing for me and Mia, but at least you get to see how it's looking. Mia really has a green thumb. She can make anything grow. It seemed like the plant was doing pretty good, but when Mia came over to water it on Sunday, it seemed like it was even happier to see Mia and it just started perking really up nice. I think it misses Mia. Can that be possible? Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for all your kind comments you always give. All the moral support to keep me working on my YouTube channel. And I hope you enjoyed seeing what my first round carrot looked like today. I love sharing them with you and they taste really good and they're great for salads. Just a couple slices and you look so wonderful. Round carrots in your salad. Give it a try. I've been growing them for years.